And it's a helicopter loading the stuff on top of the stratosphere. A brand new ride that's a teeter totter that goes over the edge. Yeah, but this is the worst I've ever seen. Well, for one thing, he was nervous. And I was on time. I was in his house at 5 to 5. I was there. I was early. I knew how he would get. So I was early. Uh-oh. I'm talking about him again. Come on. Uh-oh. Too late. of the stratosphere tower then there'll be free fall maneuvers there'll be some uh false starts there'll be a, a lot of programmable features that are included in the ride 
program as well. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Val. Yeah. As I heard in the press release, or read in the press release, it said controlled chaos. So I think that that's what a lot of people can expect when they come out here and ride this, right? That's what we planned for. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much, Val. So right now, the helicopter is refueling. That's going to come back, pick up the remaining four pieces, and hoist them to the top. And then on October 31st, right in time for Halloween, this ride will be set to open. The Extreme ride will be set to open, of course, causing many screams for Halloween. About 5 to $8 are the ticket prices, but until 11 o'clock, just in case you're out there traveling, what you need to know is right now, Commerce Street, Chicago Street, Fairfield Street, Philadelphia Avenue remaining closed until about 11 o'clock this afternoon, so as you're passing by, make sure you avoid that area or else you'll get caught up in congestion. Lift them like they're nothing. And the White Tiger will go back into the Secret Garden with some of Siegfried and Roy's other wild cats. This morning, Horn remains in critical but stable condition at UMC. Another victim of a tiger mauling.